So, tools for the job, T10 and the T20 Torx. Hi guys, welcome to this video, uh, where today we're going to do the chrome surrounds um, to make it look like the, the 330s uh, CIs. For some reason they didn't put the chrome or the silver around the, uh, around the dials on the instrument cluster. So, uh, T20 Torx times two, got one now one now uh, and then you can rig it out the instrument cluster so it's a good idea to get your steering wheel lowered get it right down or jiggle it around for whichever way you want when you're removing it so once you've taken out the two screws you can literally just get your finger in there and pull forward the cluster there's a little little flange at the top uh, you see it on the camera where my finger is there, you just pull down on that and it literally slides out. Okay, once you pull it forward, you've actually got two cables. So you've got one there and then one there. So you can see a little bit on the top there. Get my finger near it, a little bit sticking up. Oh, come back a bit, just under me now. You push that down and then this white clip literally uh, will spring back and it'll be the same for the other side. So uh, I'll do that because it's a bit tricky with one hand and uh, show you it removed. Okay, so once you remove the cables, pull your steering wheel as far up towards you as you can and then you should be able to twist this forward and slide it out. And then you can see your two cables. Okay, so once you've removed it out, you've got three on this one, T10 Torx. One there, one in the middle, barely see it, and then one the other side. I don't know if this has got two missing, sometimes you have them there and there as well. Um, oh, actually, yeah, one at the top, it's also got another one missing, there should be one there as well. Okay, so once you've removed the uh, T10 Torx little screws, um, then you should be able to just lift off the grey backing so these are the little screws but once they've come out you can literally just lift the top off okay so that's now been lifted out so uh, treat that very carefully place it upright somewhere and then you've got access to where we can push fit the dials um, be careful of this because this moves about and these have got little springs in them so um, don't lose your springs okay so I've got the rings so I'm going to come up from underneath an angle to get these in and then get them into position and then you just literally push down into place hopefully might have worked because someone's done this carbon look which is some sort of strength transfer sticker so um, we'll see how we get on okay well that wasn't too bad that's fitted in nicely, so uh, now I'm just going to fit in the rest of the dials. Okay, with some of the smaller rings, um, you just might have to sand some of the little edges because they're not quite sitting flush. So um, just get a little bit of sandpaper or use a fine file just to take um, these little joins, just to smooth them out a little bit. Um, the two bigger ones have gone in, they're sitting flush, and I've removed the carbon look because that was causing a problem. Um, so now I've sanded that, it should go in nicely. Okay, so all the rings are in now, um, all sitting flush, because they should rise. So they're sitting flush with the, uh, the black uh, part of the dash all the way around. That was a bit of a mission to get the little ones in. Another little tip, so when cleaning the inside glass, where well, you may have got little fingerprints, just use a bit of tissue because um, if you start using uh, cleaning agents it probably look worse than what it is so when you're dropping in this main circuit board um, you have to have these both on the horizontal position um, and you know what I mean when you when you do it because it'll sit flush otherwise these are not sitting correctly so um, as I say make sure they're horizontal and then you can always hold that just double check it make sure your bits line up um, 
because they're just like um, inserts inside there and then um, then you're okay to put the rest back together when you put in the uh, the rest of the plastic cover back on them same two little black bits make sure they line up each side uh, where is it uh, there and there um, and then that sits in so then they're secured and then that obviously gives them an anchor point and uh, keeps the tension on the spring so there we go all the back in back in place circuit board just double check them make sure you got your springiness in them yeah they're all good uh, and all the dials are nice and flush so literally just got to plug it back in and fill it back in with the cables and the two um, T20 torques so I've got one cable in literally have to do this job blind because you can't see around there but make sure you've got these in the right position um, ready to lock into place because otherwise you'll have a nightmare trying to get it in so uh, start off like that and then once it's in just lock it in place so yeah once you get in position just fire up the ignition just to check all is well all looks okay um, I did have to reset my clock um, so yeah you just turn your little dial on the right this one and you can reset your clock okay thanks for watching please subscribe